On March 14, like all the people in this community in central Mozambique, Julia Tom did not sleep. Winds and heavy rains whipped the area. She is in her 90s, weak and partially blind. Like many others, Tom sought refuge at a local high school. She still can't believe she managed to swim to higher ground, holding onto her grandchildren, bruised from her battle to survive. The women here know that when disaster devastates and destroys, they must rebuild and restore. In Ingao, in the outskirts of Beira, Fatima Jesubasopa cares for those in her community who are destitute and alone, including the elderly. They are having hard times. It's too much. They don't have children or grandchildren. It's such a pain. They don't get enough food, no shelter. It's a big mess. In this camp, Anna Pirish, who saw her house collapse, cooks for other displaced people. She dreams of better days ahead. It's so sad. I thank God. God will deliver. We will recover in the future. I foresee myself rebuilding. I will. God will give me the strength. Those seriously affected by the cyclone are in displacement camps. But some stayed behind. Since I have many kids, I found it hard to go there. 32-year-old Aida João has nine children to feed, so it's back to business, selling smoked fish in a beira market. But she's not earning enough. These days, there is no money. The cyclone took all the money. People don't have enough to buy food. They don't get enough to eat. Aida João, Julia Tomo, Ana Pires and Julia Basopa are some of the many women fending for their families and communities after the storm. But they're not giving up. Too many people rely on them. Karina Chodori and Amans Miguel, VOA, Beira, Mozambique.